Yo everybody, what's up? OCD Mikey, Hi-Fi Guy. Back for more Anatomy of a DAC. What I have here is a D2V um, cost engineering DAC. Uh, you can see the back here. This is a $3,500 DAC made in Taiwan. And keep in mind, Taiwan is very different than China. Taiwan is Chinese people, but it's not under CCP rule. Um, at least not yet, and it doesn't keep slaves and lock people into buildings, starve them, do all that crazy crap that Chinese Communist Party does. Um, so, and, and Taiwan has always been ahead of China in terms of technology, at least for electronics. That's where all the chips come from. That's where the, the, the good stuff comes from. The cheap stuff comes from mainland China. The good stuff comes from Taiwan. So I'll show you what I mean. First of all, this chassis has no seams, okay? So as you can see, this whole apparatus, this thing all the way, it's a big tube, if you will, except it's, it's not, it's actually contoured. So it's not just an extrusion, like a, you know, it actually has contours to it. And then this front panel comes off and you can see this is machined out of one inch thick aluminum. This is completely machined out. So this is no cheap front panel. This is expensive. Um, and it's made very well. Very high quality. Now we're going to pull this thing out. Make sure I got this right. Mm. Pull that out. So we can take this uh, apart, but this will show you, it's got a display here that's a dot matrix, very nice display. You press this button in, and then you roll this around, and you press it in to make your choice of your selection. If I pull this off, you can see it's solid metal. It's not just like hollow, like a lot of Chinese stuff will be hollow. This is not. This goes on like that. Makes a very, it's a nice satin finish. This is the, the there's no uh, silk screening on here or printing that's cheesy. It's actually machined the logo into the face. And you can see the nice contours of this uh, metalwork. It's very nice metalwork. This is put here too to ground and to keep it, uh, I would guess this is usually like a shielding thing, but it can also be used to ground. Um, now we will take. The board slides out the back like this, and we can look at this DAC. This is a $3,500 DAC, very well made. As you can see, what we have here, again, we'll go through the parts of the DAC, like I explained to you guys before. We've got the power supply, which comes in here to the transformer. Right here, we've got our rectification stage and everything happens right here. It's a complete modular power supply, switching mode power supply, obviously. Um, it's a very high quality piece, very nice. Here is the FPGA, this pops out. And so you can take this in and out and do what you want with it, you know, replace it or whatever. But this part is can be switched out, so it's stuck in there like memory, right? This has the FPGA and the logic. It's got a master clock there. Everything kind of on here for the digital signal, um, DSP and everything, right? Digital signal comes in here. We go through this, process the signal, get it all ready. We send it over here on this side for conversion, and you can see two Burr Brown chips. 1792s and what they've done here which you rarely see is they found that by flying wires rather than sending the signal over via traces if they flew wires these are pure silver in teflon uh tubes wires straight over off the legs of the dac chip it sounded better and it was lower noise than if they ran it on the board on the traces so they actually hand fly wires over there and they hand tune them, which means they put this thing on a scope. They move these things by hand till they get the best numbers. Then they put this clear or this uh, smoked 
acrylic plate down on top of it to prevent them from getting bumped or moved if anybody has this thing out. Um, and then you look here and here's the very elaborate output section, okay? This is the analog output section. Now it looks as if there's two, four, six, eight op amps per channel. That's definitely dual differential. That's absolutely balanced, okay? Um, this is gonna have a nice, this is a very nice, well-made output section. I'm looking underneath and you can see it's a nice mezzanine board. So this is a very complex, pretty audiophile design. This is not just your typical crappy DAC design. This is, um, looking right here to see how this looks good. Seated well. Um, it is, um, it is a very good design and it's very well made. So this is a, a $3,500 DAC um, made in Taiwan. So I just wanted to show you this DAC architecture and show you how it goes the extra mile by flying wires off dual Burr Brown uh, stereo chips. So these are differential, these are dual monos. Each one has positive and negative phase. You can see it's dual differential. So this is probably a four, because there's four wires coming off here, this is dual differential. Okay, because there's positive and negative, positive and negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Um, so we've got a dual differential DAC output, which is widely considered to be the best way to do a chip DAC is to do dual differential. Um, so that is uh, very nicely done. Um, and that's it for this one. See you.